hi guys let's build our this header in our app so go to our code and in here what I'm gonna do we're gonna just create a new uh, folder in the source folder and give it name uh, as a component because we're gonna create a component right we're not gonna create a page so in here in components we're gonna create the header so I'm just gonna create a new folder called header in the header we're gonna create a new file called uh, header.js now in here what we're gonna do we're gonna use import react from react and in here I'm just going to create this as a functional component and use it and now in here I'm going to return so what we need we need first of all we need this navbar tag and in here we need this svg file right so we're gonna export uh, import this react component import react component as logo from dot dot slash dot dot slash assets slash instagram instagram dot svg and also i'm going to import i'm going to import this home svg right so i'm just going to create react component as home from dot dot slash dot dot slash assets slash home dot svg and also going to import react component as explore from dot dot slash dot dot slash assets slash explore dot svg now this all has been done now i'm going to create a new div uh, div in this div i'm going to create a new div again and in here i'm going to use this logo and i have created this logo and now in here what we need as a div inside a div we need this to link as you can say so in here the react router dom provides you can say that it provides its own link so we can use nav link for this one also there is one call link so i'm going to just use it i'm going to use this nav link bar it it you can say this that you can use nav link most of the time because it's an enhanced way of seeing the link you can say now here in here nav link to it will go to this slash because with which part you are seeing that's what it's called now in here what we need we going to give this home part right whenever we click on it it will going to redirect to the slash part now again one more thing we require we require nav link to to this explore we haven't created right like but we are gonna create and in here what we need we need this explore and also what we need we need the button so I'm just going to create a button and call it logout for now it's not going to do anything right now so we have built it all the things but what we need we need uh, to create a CSS for this part so that it will look good now I'm just going to create a new CSS in the header folder called header.css So in here what I'm gonna do we're gonna just import this CSS file so in here uh, we need a header.css oh, sorry import dot slash header.css 
now in here first of all I'm going to give the styling for nav bar what I'm gonna do we're gonna just give the height to be 50 pixel and border is to be one pixel solid and give the aspect the F yeah this is good now in here I'm just going to create a new class name in here and just going to give the name what should be named div header you can say and just going to copy it so that we can use it in here and in here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to give width of 80% 80% and margin to be 0 auto so that it will be at the center okay now in here what we need we have to give the height for this logo part also right so I'm just going to give class name to be uh, div logo you can say or you can say div svg because we're gonna write it I uh, use it many use it in many parts so I'm just gonna use it in here and also I'm going to use it in here and also in here so in here div svg to be you can say height to be what you can 30 pixel and width to be 30 pixel and you can say padding to be 5 pixel and in here what we're gonna do we're gonna just give 0 and 20 pixel and also in div header what we need we're gonna use this display flex and also the flex direction to be row and justify content to be space between and also the align items to be center so that it will be aligned center now what we need we need for this part and in here i'm just going to give a styling in here only just so you can see that we can give in here also so display to be flex flex direction to be row and in here i'm just going to give button a class name so that it will i can give any uh, styling for this part so button header you can see in here and i'm just going to copy it for now and use it here uh, what we need we need okay just see it what it looks like for now so then we can see what we can do next go to our code and and again redirecting to the login page test at the rate test.com oh my my it's not working oh we haven't imported it right so we have to import also so export default header and we are when where we are gonna use it we're gonna use it in the home page so where is the home page yeah this is the home page now in here we don't need this thing we need this part and we're gonna return and use this div and in the div what we need we need the header part and now if we just use it and go to our code it's taking some time oh wow it's look good man yeah it's look good but what we need we need to align this part right so what I'm gonna do uh, in our header.css I'm just gonna give this part to be okay one thing is there so what we need in here that uh, first of all we need height 100% so that it will uh, tag along with this nav bar 
and also one more thing we need here so it will be align center we need this align items to be center and now if we just save it in our code you can see whenever we test it and if we just look into it yeah it looks good it's good yeah now in the next video we're gonna see what we can more we can do more about it so that's all for this video thanks